next question is is it true that hft or algo traders generally beat manual day traders therefore if conventional trading reduces under a certain threshold hft or algos lose their interest on that market if it is what is that threshold so it's um, um it would not be absolutely true to say that hfts uh, generally beat manual day traders uh, it would depend on what kind of day traders we are talking about here if we are talking about the day traders who are doing uh, who are um, uh, taking benefit of the arbitrage opportunities or market inefficiencies then yes uh, machines can do all those things much 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 faster than uh, so like if you are a if you are a uh, if you are a uh, manual trader uh, if you are really good you can probably send one order in a second uh, if you are like extremely extremely good and that's what you have been doing all your life that is sending out the orders and maybe two orders in a second if you're superman maybe three or four order orders in a second but not beyond that a machine can send you like it's generally only limited by what exchange settles the throttle rate at so so a machine can send like thousands of orders in a second uh, so there is no match obviously over that but um, uh, but if you're talking about the traders who are um, taking who are analyzing the data and um, who are um, who are executing their orders in a manual way but uh, are much more researched and um, uh, are doing their a lot of homework on their side then then no then and then it doesn't matter right so so that's that's uh, that's the difference um, and is there any certain threshold hft algos lose their interest on that market so on the contrary what we have seen is that um, uh, more the high frequency trading volume participation more are the number of players who are there so say for example if you take um, the the markets in the dollar uh, the exchanges in the dollar market say nyc or um, other um, exchanges in us you will see that um, in some of the exchanges almost 80 to 85 percent of the volume is happening through algos right so that means that um, and you have most of the hft firms focused on those markets so if there was a threshold then uh, the, all those high frequency trading firms would have gone away but that's not the case uh, same is the case in the um, uh, in the developing markets also so like in india you have almost close to 45 to 50 percent of the overall exchange volumes uh, in the leading exchanges, uh, especially on the derivative side, which is the uh, which is the which is the which is the segment in which most of the volume happens in India. So over there also, if you see, um, it's almost 50 percent, 45 to 50 percent of the volume is through algos. So the firms are not reducing. It's not happening that um, the the, algor the use of algorithms is reducing or anything like that that's not happening so so threshold probably maybe on the lower side even on the lower side I, i'm not sure but uh, definitely not on the higher side that if there is too much of algorithms out there in that case uh, in that case the, the hfts will run away no that's that's not true competition will heat up yes so some hfts will go out of the business some will remain but but that's about it so it, it would not be like um, uh, there's too much too many of them so so we will we'll shut, shut shop it's just a competitive uh, it's a, just a simple competition which will be happening so so that's there